Happy Halloween, guys. It's funny, I had salt beside me. Feels like there's some witchy energy happening for me. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. I'm just getting everything set up here on the platforms. I wanted to show up live to connect with you guys today. Um, it's Halloween. Yes, 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 it's Halloween. And we always talk about, hey, hey, Beatrice. We always talk about masks and blood and all that stuff uh, when this time of year comes around. But I want to talk about our blood, women, ladies here, the blood that comes out of us every month. How comfortable are you talking about that? Can we talk about that? Um, it's so funny. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Um, I always find it so interesting. One of my main um, fascinations lately has been reconnecting with my blood and reconnecting with um, with the power in our blood. So I think today is such a perfect day, being Halloween, what better way to give ourselves permission to talk about our blood? Ladies, I wanna hear in the comments, those showing up now, I wanna hear about your relationship with your periods, with your blood, embracing your blood. Um, how many of you guys, you know, dread your monthly visit? You know, does, does the pain of your period sometimes maybe take you out for a couple of days? Like maybe feeling like so sick that like, oh my gosh, I can't wake up. I can't do anything. Trust me, I felt that one too. I felt that one too. You know, when that pain is just so strong that it feels like, oh my gosh, I can't do anything but feel this pain and lay in bed and it takes me out. Um, or maybe do you try to take pills to maybe try to silence the pain of your periods? Yeah, that might be a possibility. We all have our own ways of connecting um, with our periods. So what I'm here to say is that what if there is another way to find peace, maybe even power in your periods? You know, there is and there is because I want to share with you guys a secret today because whether or not you get your periods, there's still so much wisdom in the message and I'm going to share with you guys today. Um, because the truth is you can transform your pain that you might feel in your periods to actually be a source of your power, to actually be a source of connecting to your body in a way that you've never, that you could never, um, it's really interesting because sometimes we, we get stuck in the, the feeling of like, oh, this is painful. Let me ignore, let me ignore, let me ignore this pain. But once we are able to actually connect to ourselves and get underneath the pain and start to understand it, that's when we can start to extract the power that lives in that experience. So what does that mean? So when I'm on my period, when I'm in my cycle, there's a t um, I'm able to access my intuition in a way that I'm not able to access at any other time of, of the month. It's like having your superpowers on blast it's like it's like this way of like mm. like imagine this having a connection to your body in a way that mm. it's so interesting because like as i'm getting to this point i'm like I'm talking about it and I, I'm starting to like dive into my experience and like the words are, are like I'm, I'm losing the words here but I really want to give you guys tangible examples because it's so it's such an important place that like not every woman connects to you know we've been ignoring our periods we've been saying they're bad we've been saying they're painful we're like saying it's yucky and it's like my goodness there's so much power so I really want to make sure that I'm that I'm really articulating this this correctly. So what I want to say, okay, so when I'm on my periods, I'm able to get messages in my dreams. So I'll get messages about clear actions I want to take. I'll get messages on what I'm meant to teach to you guys, like my next course ideas. I get messages on mm, new concepts new theories and ideas, new dance moves, new dance practices. Um, and it's like I'm tapping into this well of like creativity that's like not even of this world. It's like I'm downloading it from like 
not anything I've read before, but like it's like this like source of like um, untapped creativity that's like from me, but also I'm learning it from like sources even even further out than just me. You know, and it's like I open my eyes and I'm like, boom, I know what's next. I know what I'm, I know the answer that I'm seeking. Like when I'm on my period, that's the place that I get to tap into. That's the place. Thank you, Joe. Yes. Thank you for sharing. Yes. I'm glad this is inspiring you because I really, really want to speak about this in, in the most um, tangible way for you guys to understand because I really want to speak about like the true power that you actually experience when you connect with your periods. So another thing that happens for me is that when I'm connected to my body, I start to, first of all, I can know when my period is even coming. It's like I can be sleeping and then I'm like, I open my eyes and I'm like, oh yeah, the time's coming. And and then it's like, <laughs> someone said, I don't even have periods and you're inspiring me somehow. Yes, 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 the magic of the period. That's why I want to share this with you guys. So it's like I can wake up and be like, oh, the moment's coming. And it's like that connection with my body, it's like, oh, it's like we're speaking a language and I'm able to like hear myself on the deepest of levels. And it's like, Imagine having that connection to your body and, and even spanning further out than periods where it's like, say you're suffering some from a symptom, maybe it's a cough or maybe it's like, I don't know, maybe you have the flu or maybe it's something more serious, like a serious health condition where you can actually catch it and notice it right before it drops, like right before it happens. You can like understand it so that it doesn't get to the point where it flares up and you have to go take a pill to respond to it. It's like, it's preemptive, it's preventative because you're actually able to hear what's happening before it happens. So that's why I'm saying, and that's why I always speak about this, the sacredness of actually like just connecting with your body, like the power of like understanding your body and, and, and knowing and, and, and embracing whatever comes out of it. You know, not disconnecting yourself, saying, oh, it's a period, so it's gross. It's like, no, like this is actually a natural process that your body goes through. So how about connect to your body to understand it even more, to, to connect to the power of what's happening within you. So I think what really helps too with like the pain that, you know, some of you might experience through your, your period is, is that when you have that connection to your body, it's, it no longer becomes like, oh, you're in pain, I'm going to ignore you. You know, you're in pain, I'm going to just like silence you with this pill. It's like, oh, you're in pain. Let me stand with you to understand. Let me see how I can show how I can understand what the source of this pain is, so I can help you. So you can help yourself. Because when we take that pill, when we like, silence the pain, we're actually like silencing ourselves and being like, boom, like, I'm just going to, like, block you, block you in this pain. But when you're choosing to connect with your body, you're like, oh, I'm going to stand with you in this pain. I'm going to connect with you in this pain. I'm going to ask what this pain needs. And then I'm going to take inspired action to help dissolve my discomfort through understanding. So that's why it's so important, like, when we think about periods and pain. Like, when we silence our pain, we're actually, like, disconnecting um the we're disconnecting ourselves from ourselves <laughs> we're disconnecting from our own bodies but when we can stand with our pain and be with it we can actually transform that pain into power so whether or not you get your periods making this type of connection with your body will help you learn how to heal yourself and it will help you to learn how to tap into your unique powers like your unique ideas like, remember the creations I said to you earlier when, like, you know, I'm in my sleep and I have ideas on courses and practices that come to me in my sleep? Like, you get to tap into your version of that. You get to tap into your version of that power. And that's how you make magic happen. That's how you connect to your own magic is by connecting to your body. So on this Halloween day, 
when everyone is dressing up in our masks and we have all these all this blood on like i want you to take this time to like to come back to your blood to remember the power in your blood and to remember where that blood comes from your body it's you it's yours and that's um that's like a source of your power and we don't need to we don't need to shame ourselves or to disown ourselves or to wrong ourselves for something that's so natural so anyone here who's tuning in if you want support on on how um you know you can connect with your body to make that connection to yourself to make that connection to your periods and to your emotions all things that happen inside of you I just finished doing a three-day video series training called Electric Body. And this training was really all about connecting to the power of your body and how connecting to your emotions, your vulnerability, um, and who you truly are is really the source of becoming magnetic. And it's truly the source of being able to draw in um, everything that you want into your life. And that draw all starts from first diving into yourself from coming home to your body so if if anyone tuning in and watching this now wants uh, to get in on that free training series that I've created you can visit www.taminapolakparis.com slash electric body and I'll find a way of putting a link either below this video or if you're tuning in on Instagram it's going to be in my bio uh, if you're on Facebook or watching this through my mailing list you're going to see a link somewhere either above or below um, because I want you guys to receive this I want you to receive this knowledge because we are all electric we all are electric we all have the ability to channel our power and our energy and to tap into the well of that power and the source of that power, which is inside of your body. So if you want your body to be electric, tune into this video, it's magic. I wanna take some time to answer some of these thing, questions that have been coming up here. Um, I knew actors were talented, but you answered questions that women are scared to ask. Thank you, Beatrice, yes, yes. Please, if anyone has questions that you feel are, are scary or maybe you feel that like are not okay to ask or but you really have that burning desire to, um, to know and receive support, feels, please feel free to message me at any time. Um, like right now, I'm sending this comment, putting in your questions in the lives. Uh, I would love to support you guys. I would love, love to support you guys in answering those scary questions because where else, you know, we all need guidance. We all need support. And if someone has gone through a similar path and has, has gone the way and has some valuable information to share with you that could possibly help your journey, then I think that's a beautiful gift to give. And that's something that I have feel, felt very honored to give to other women. So yes, please send your questions, uh, your questions my way. Um, oh, I love this. And this is a really, I love this here. Someone says, I can't relate to this at all, but I can't stop watching. You should run, run for president. <laughs> yes. Thank you for your honesty. Thank you for your honesty and for receiving um, the energy that I'm pouring out to you guys. So even if you can't relate to the words, there's a presence, there's something about um, me showing up that you're receiving in it. So I'm happy to give that and happy to hear you're receiving it. So with that said, um, I don't see any other questions here right now at the moment, but um, I hope everyone has a lovely, amazing, amazing Halloween, whether you're watching this now. Um, oh, I see another one. How do you bring confidence in your life? Yes, okay. So how I bring confidence in my life, um, I find that the more I'm able to connect with myself, the more confident I feel. So I know that can feel really vague, so I wanna get a little deeper into this. To, to access my confidence, I spend time connecting with my emotions, connecting with my fears, connecting with my judgments I might have on myself. I connect with all parts of myself. Oh, I also connect with my creative energy. And you know what the common thread about all of those things that I'm mentioning that I'm connect, I connect with? 
I'm connecting to my inner world. I'm connecting to my inner world. That's what the common thread is about all of that, is I'm connecting with my inner world. So it takes making it a priority to connect with everything that's happening with inside of you. And to do that, it takes being in practice. And those practices are what I share in my newest course, The Electric Woman. In that course, I'm, I'm teaching you ways to connect with who you are on the inside. You know, through meditations, through movements, through rituals. There's many ways to connect with that inner world. And the deeper connection you make with that inner world inside, the more confident you will feel because you're no longer looking outside to tell you, to, you're no longer looking to the outside world to tell you that you're good enough or to tell you that it's okay to be yourself or to tell you that, you know, to, just to tell you what, what you can and can't do. You find that permission from inside of yourself. So that's how I bring confidence into my life. So, I think there was another one. Um, I'm really self-conscious and I don't know how to deal with it. Yes, so this exactly, what I just said, helps and supports that as, as well. You know, the more you are able to connect with who you are inside, the more you take the time and space to do that, the more that you will feel more confident and comfortable in your own skin so that you can actually um, express yourself truthfully, honestly, and authentically. So um, I hope that answers your question, Simi and an African gal. Beautiful questions, guys. I, I, I thank you guys for sharing yourselves here. Um, I can't believe how much you've evolved and grown as a human. Thank you. Thank you, amazing human. Thank you, guys. Thank you. And, and Simi, definitely send me your messages. I can see them. So just send me your message and I'll check my, my inbox, okay? So I thank you guys so much for coming on and sharing yourselves and your questions. Um, it's, it's a pleasure to, um, to connect with you guys in this way. And um, if ever you guys have questions, send them my way. And again, um, as I said, the best way to connect with your confidence is by connecting to yourself. And um, the Electric Woman course that's also available to you guys now shows you how from A to B to connect with yourself and your power. So um, the link to that is in my, my bio. So um, yeah, much love to you guys. All right, I will see you guys the next time I come on live and um, wishing you guys a really beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Halloween. Mwah. Take care. <laughs>